Meet Eddie Bernays. He is considered the father of modern advertising, most famous for turning the largely abhorred word propaganda into the fluffy, warm euphemism public relations. Bernays haphazardly took popular ideas from Freudian psychoanalysis and began to apply them to advertising campaigns. The idea was simple: link and exploit the very primitive social urges common to most humans, such as sexuality and status, to a product. Seems so much longer than last year. It is nearly four inches longer in some models. Oh. Goods were to become less relevant in their utility and more of a symbol representing one's identity or individualism, effectively turning mere wants into emotional needs. Bernays was a response to a growing call by industrial leaders to reprogram society and create a new consumer culture. Charles Kettering, director of General Motors in 1929, wrote of the need to keep the consumer dissatisfied. Wall Street banker Paul Mazur said. We must shift America from a needs to a desires culture. People must be trained to desire, to want things even before the old have been entirely consumed. We must shape a new mentality in America, and it worked. Technological innovation in radio and television helped further this end by a saturation campaign throughout American society, which quickly spread across the world. Advertising no longer was about describing, say, the function of a good and its inherent integrity. It was now about social manipulation, creating inferiority, shame, guilt, and false problems that could only be resolved by submission to purchase. Over an 80-year lifespan, we watch 15 and a half years of television on average. 15 and a half years of having our brains liquefied and sodomized, zombified, and then glorifying products and nonsense. And that screws with us because advertisements are assholes. They're assholes. Imagine if an advertisement were just a regular guy walking up to you on the street, just going, "Hey, hey, you, hey, hey." If you wore these jeans, then the hot girls would really do you. I mean, like hot girls, not that ugly broad you call a girlfriend. And by the way, could you mention to her that she needs to lose a little weight and do something about her hair? And she could do it too if she would just use these diet pills and this hair gel. And by the way, both of you guys should probably be smoking these cigarettes and drinking this beer. Then you'd be really cool. Although your teeth are looking a little yellow, but we can fix that if you would just use this tooth whitening shit. And then the hot girls would really do you. And by the way, are you happy with your penis size? If you are, that's cool. A lot of guys are, are happy with、uh, fun size. Is that what you call that? Fun size. A lot of girls like that. I mean, I haven't met any, but I bet there are some. But if you change your mind, all you'd have to do is take a couple of these babies, and soon you would have to call up guys. To help you carry your junk around like a train on a wedding dress, but how are you gonna call your junk carriers with that crappy phone you got there? You should be using this phone with the swipey bullshit technology that makes other people feel like they're better than you just by owning this phone. And they are. They are better than you. Oh my God! All this stuff you need and don't have is making me anxious. Is it making you anxious? Is it? Is it? Is it? Are you anxious now? Are you? Are you? Are you? Well, then all you have to do is take a couple of these, and in two weeks' time, you would feel better than anything. Plus, bonus side effect: these pills also make your ass hair shiny and more manageable with extra bounce. Anyway, I gotta go 'cause your girlfriend just decided she looks pretty good in a vintage dress, and I gotta turn that around quick before she stops taking the Ambien Prozac cocktail I gave her, and then she'll stop shopping continuously in order to fill the void created by self-hatred, created by me. Would you hang out with that guy?